things first too. Let me see that too. Put it in your hand. We can see it. Oh my goodness, look at your little baby too. Got spit, got spit. Oh yeah, get that blood out. Oh my gosh. I think that's his first. You've been waiting for this moment. Yes. You've been trying to get this tooth out. I think what you say? Yeah, now you don't have to pay a hundred dollars to <laughs> David trying to snatch this boy too far at the dentist. Trying to charge me a hundred dollars. Ah, it's gonna come out on its own. Y'all leave that baby tooth alone. Oh, I can see a lot of blood now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excited? Now the tooth fairy gonna come. Uh -huh. Bite it. Bite it. Where's the lotion at? You need lotion on your face. Hello. Hello. You excited? Uh huh. I just punched it like out. You punched your tooth? Yeah, I did. I did. Oh yeah, because he was excited. You were excited and then you just accidentally punched yourself. That is a funny story. You've been trying to eat apples and wiggle it and you done accidentally punched yourself. That's how your first tooth came out. So you will always remember that, right? I need a bun right in my mouth. <laughs> you sure you're two fairies. Okay. Hmm? You gonna put it back in? Yeah. Boy. I can't do it. That thing ain't gonna go back in. And then a lot of, a lot of toothpaste is just gonna come in our house. Uh-uh. That's what. <laughs> bye bye. I Bro, we don't have time for this, Mr. Spider. I'm trying to be nice to Buzz this year. But you a little big. And you scaring us. <laughs> but I'm going to try. I'm going to try, though, to, to capture him. And, and we're we going to put him outside, okay? He probably got a family at home. Let's just think about that to help us get through this. We're going to just capture him. <laughs> Take him outside. Move, mom. Oh! Spider! Mama, move! Gosh. 
Wow, Lexi, a G. I cannot. Make sure he go far away now. Oh, look, there's a spider hanging right there. Trying to come in right there by the door. Dang, spiders everywhere. Get him, get him. Where? On there, little bitty. Ah! Oh, gosh. But y'all, tell me if this is right or not. This girl is charging me $20. What? For doing that. For the spider job. Is that worth $20? If everybody in the comments say yes, then you have to send me the rest of the money. Okay. Well, we're going to settle right now for $10. That's a mess. And $10 is crazy. Ain't that crazy? Oh, because it's a big old spider. You wasn't even scared. That's how I was, actually. So look, you strong. What can a little spider okay, do to you? Go ahead. This should, shouldn't this be a part of her household chores? Take I think so. Outside. Yeah. We cleaning up. That's all. Just a spider in the midst. Nah, I'm gonna give her. I, I said it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give it to her. But as far as the, the $20, we're gonna wait and see what the comments say. If you get enough votes, if you get. Get this video. I need spikes. <laughs> okay, if we get five comments, if we get five comments to say Lexi deserve a good 20 for that, then we'll go ahead and give her the 20. That's what we'll do. But I just think that's crazy. Lexi taxed me for everything. For everything. I did say it though. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be a woman of my word. I said it. And that's what we going to, we just going to, we'll start there. $10. The bright side about all of this is that. Y'all know when you move the couch and you ain't moved it in a good little while. Y'all already know. <laughs>making some black bean burgers so i got my black beans in there i got my onion and garlic i forgot to smash my beans before i put the onion and garlic in there but that's all right we're gonna go ahead and just smash it all together and i'm gonna season it up i got my seasonings here um i aspire to be one of the one of the cute seasoning type of type of girls one of these days but for now this is what we got listen my seasoning my seasoning cabinet is a is a is a real black mama Season the cabinet. Okay, I'm gonna just smash up these black beans. All right, we got our seasonings in there. We got our beans all mashed up, and I'm gonna put these seasoned breadcrumbs in there. Got the black bean patties on. They look like chocolate chip cookies. Okay. Check you out. Oh yeah, the the trash bag is kind of tricky to put on there because it's kind of tiny. So. You'll figure it out though. I believe in you. Good job though. It smells good in here. Okay. Yeah, so you might already mopped the floor. So which step you want now? Oh, you wanna pull the trash? Okay. You almost done. Just make sure to put everything back where it goes. Um, the trash bags, put them back. Good job, Al. Isaac, you got your Isaac is on the laundry next. You gotta wait till all of this stuff is done. Oh Isaac got his chore next.
what happened to my kid's scalp. Well, I do know what happened. Um, I was using this oil. Didn't realize that it had nuts in it. And y'all, it tore their scalps up. Her and Isaac. And Al's too. Actually, yeah, all of them. All of them. Um, and their scalps just have not been the same ever since. She gets these white patches. And they just, oh my God, they scale and flake so bad. And of course it's itchy. So I am working on switching, transitioning everything to natural. Okay, I mean our body wash, cause Isaac already already knew he had a really bad eczema. Um, and you know, I started making switches, like our laundry detergent, just the free and clear all of that you know using vaseline i re realized that um i might not even be able to use shea butter on them because you know shea is a nut but i gotta dig deeper with my research and get them into a dermatologist um and get you know more allergy tests done to really see what the issues are the skin issues are but yeah, we pretty much just gearing more into a natural lifestyle, period. What we eat, what we put on our bodies. Let me find your bonnet too. What we eat, what we put on our bodies, what we put in our hair. Like I was dreading going to the beauty supply because I knew it was nothing good. Like I just sat there for so long reading all the ingredients and I just didn't even want to buy anything. But I ran into this natural hair, um, not natural hair, but this natural store. And I mean, I found everything natural, deodorant, toothpaste. Actually, hold on. Dang, okay. I wore natural deodorant for the first time today and it did me right. Listen. Okay. I don't know what they talking about. That thing did me good. It had aloe vera in it. First of all, it smelled good, felt good. And I, that's just what I want my life to be i think my baby's like i already had the 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 awakening for like okay baby uh oh we gotta get you a new one um yeah i already had this awakening for like health um probably like last year or coming into the new year like i just was like you know no more dairy i just started to become more health conscious what you want to watch a show? No, movie maybe. A movie? Mm-hmm. Or Cloud Babies. I don't know. You don't know? So y'all already um start gearing more towards being health conscious, but this recent breakout with they with they scalps just really pushed me like okay, I have to make a difference. I have to make a change and you know like that's it's not something just to think about like you really have to do it or otherwise like and especially when you really understand toy story okay when you understand all of these what are all of these chemicals are doing i know they get still getting dressed baby come on she over here trying to tell <laughs> zara trying to tell on everybody well, yeah, when you start understanding what these chemicals are really doing, and especially with my babies, I'm like, uh-uh, I gotta, I gotta figure something out. So, yeah, anyways, I got a bunch of natural African black soap. I got natural toothpaste, chew stick powder. I got a bunch of herbal teas, and I'm just really dedicated to, like, living a healthy, natural life. You know, I'm trying to limit as much chemicals and just bad stuff as i can so yeah um the hair it stuff that i got still itchy. it's still itchy yeah i think i'm gonna make my own i know i don't think i know i'm gonna start making my own stuff i just want to make some really like pure products um so i'm gonna be working on that poo 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 hi mama we was watching zara's vlogs when she was a baby she was so cute. She was so cute. Her little sticky face. You still got a little little face. My baby girl, you gonna go to school this year. You excited? Yes. Oh yeah, we got the TJB bonnet. 
by the way if y'all don't know i have a beauty company tiara j beauty we have satin bonnets satin scarves my hair wrap that i have on that i keep on okay um robes slippers all like the soft uh hair care if you will make sure to go shop i'll always leave a coupon code for the family down below in the description box so go ahead and check it out the bonnets they also fit babies they are like a little big because they're not really like made for babies which i do want to bring some kid bonnets soon that are actually their size but i mean since it's like a wrap a little tie it still fits like you see it's just like a little space turn baby it's just like a little space in the back but honestly they are a one size fits all so grab you and your baby some cute matching bonnets say t ever j beauty bees t r j beauty period good night tootie give me a kiss love you here we go get cozy love you Okay, girl. Good night.